Check this out. We have a man who everybody hates. Mm. We hate him. His mama hates him. His family hates him. The white police hate him. The regular white men and white women hate him. This is a man who is hated by everyone. Some black women will say, oh, black men ain't shit. All they are is abusers. They leave their kids, all this stuff, right? And I hear it all the time. And I'm not saying every black woman, because uh, again, I'm black. I don't say shit like that. And I have a lot of friends who are black women who don't talk like that. The only solace that God made for him was us. And when he comes to us and can't get any sanctuary at all, then he don't have no life. See you playing a man who feels naked without his lady? Use her. Jump in there and take her. Tease her. Threaten her. And he won't be able to think about his game anymore. And th then they win because what they want to do is to destroy him. How do you control the black man who may be a stronger, smarter, more creative, faster, jumps higher specimen than the man? You take his woman away. You take his queen away. Now his queen don't love him. His queen don't respect him. His queen don't value him. That's how you keep the black man down. And make us think that we are better than him. So that we will help the enemy destroy our own man that God gave to us. We have the best man on earth. Everybody wanted. He looked better than everybody. He's stronger than everybody. He is the best, the wisest, and the most beautiful. The black man in America is the most copied man on this planet, bar none. Everybody want to be a nigga, but nobody want to be a nigga. How about that question? Now, of course, many of our men have been tricked by the enemy too. But since we are the mothers, we are the first face they see. We are the first person they talk to. We the first person to feed them. We do all of that and raise them up. And so if there's a silly man out here, he didn't grow up and be silly. He was silly as a little boy because his mother mismanaged him and didn't reparent him using the truth. Now you got these now you got these sons that are raised by women and are taught that masculinity is wrong. Oh, we don't want to be masculine. So what happens? Now we demasculizing our kids. Now these kids are growing with feminine energy and feminine thoughts. And is, is that really what we want? Mm, wow. Now what True. we're dealing with is a man who has been wounded and repressed and taught that he does not have any value. Make it make sense. Do you really want black men or not? Or are you just saying that because of the two black men that hurt you? Or is it because you don't have a dad? I'm not trying to say this to be disrespectful. It's just a lot of women I come across don't have fathers. And you know how many black women are in my DMs tell me that all the time? They've never had healthy masculinity. So really think about that. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button or follow. And y'all be good.